In uh, this video, I'll be talking about automating tasks um, with batch processes. So basically, in QGIS, there are two ways of automating. You can do modelings. So you as a the graphical modeler, and then there is the batch processor. So let's look at how this is in uh, QGIS. So in our example, if we um, have a series of layers that we want to do the same thing to, then you would use a batch process. If you have a layer that you want to do a series of things to, so first clip, then reproject, then do something, then do something further, so on, then you will use this graphical model to do it. So those are the two different tools, but if you let's look at the batch processing tool. So what we would like to do here is that we want to take all of these. So these are data from the natural earth data set that I have clipped out to fit more or less to Europe. And then what I want to do is that I want to change the projection of all of these to one of the recommended European projections. So at the moment they are in this not any really projection, just showing the latitude and longitude as a Cartesian data. So I want to use a projection tool. So uh, I want to go in and see. And we have this under vector general called V project layer. So I choose this one. And this is where I normally will use a tool if I wanted to run it as a standard tool. But down here in the corner, all of the tools, they have this one as batch. And so not only the tools, also if you make a model yourself, you can also run that as a batch. So I want to say, I want to run this instead of running individually, I want to run it on my individual, on all of my layers. So I'll just say run as batch. And then I now have a series of all the attributes. So all of those properties I had before, so these I had to fill in. They have now become columns in this setup. Now, which layers do I want to do? What do I want to project them to? So what I wanted to do is I wanted to project them to this uh, Koenig, so Lambert Koenig um, on Europe. And I wanted to handle all of them. So what I've done is I've loaded all of those I want to handle into QGIS. So I can now say select from open layers and they're basically all these layers I want to handle. And I want now want to set all of them to the same projection. So now I set all of these layers I want to reproject. Now what should I do with the output? Well here what is Often the most practical approach is to go in and create a database, a geodatabase, so or part of its name. So I could call them uh, LCC. So and then a underscore. So test LCC underscore as the first part of the name that geodatabase will have, because what I can then do. Is the next thing you'll ask me what do I want to autofill? And I would like to autofill them with a parameter value. So it could be the projection or whatever. But of course, I want the input layer. So what it will do is after that LCC, it will insert, so I set work in LCC underscore, and then it will insert the layer name after that in the geodatabase name. So now I'll have a lot of geodatabase that all are called LCC underscore natural earth so on and so on so i just run it and that's basically all that's to doing using the batch process so you need to think about what do you, how do you want to systematically name the output so typically the process underscore and then use the fill to take that input name of your operation and um and use it so it's um 
it's a simple tool and what happens when you uh, now close this is that I now in my browser if I now look in this folder where I had my data from before I now have I just refresh it you'll see I have all these LCC so all of these layers if I want to collect them together into a common database so my lecture 9 database here I can just select all of them and then drag them into my destination database and it will then start to copy all of those files so now in my destination database I have all of these files collected in that so it is really a simple process that you can use in order to handle a lot of files that you need to send through the same procedure so i hope this saved you some time hope to see you in another video bye